Welcome everybody. I am back y'all with another video. So yes, I've been MIA for a few weeks guys. I've been MIA because I have been moving. All right, so I'm in my new place and everything is going well with me. I missed you guys so much. I was like, oh my God, I got to get back to my, my babies. But I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. And I'm happy to be back. So let's talk Pisces. All right, let's see what messages we got for you for the month of August. Okay, what messages are there for the month of August? For my Pisces, this is a love reading, guys. So, if it resonates with you, be sure to hit the thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. All right, you can also check out the um, check out my website, guys. All that information is gonna be in the drop box below. All right, so let's talk. Ooh, there's just a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff that's just a bunch of stuff that's just. Ooh. Flying out, okay. Give me a message for the Pisces, please. Give me a message for Pisces. Sun, moon, and rising. All right, we got trust. It looks like there's the trust factor here on a relationship, on whether or not there it is. Give your relationship a chance. Some of you are releasing an ex, okay? Yeah, I'm definitely seeing some of you are in the process of releasing an ex or you've already released the ex, okay? You and this person had a very sexual chemistry. Like, you guys, when you guys got together, it was amazing, Okay. But there's something that happened in a period of separation. Maybe someone um, was seeing someone else during a period of separation. Something happened. For some of you, this is possibly a marriage and you guys are in separation. There looks like there is some issues in regards to trust. So somebody doesn't trust somebody to uh, enough to give a relationship another shot. Okay, that's what it looks like for me. That's what I'm getting. It is safe for you to love, okay? Getting to know each other unrequited and codependency here. I see, yeah, there was some deception, okay? So some of you guys decided to free yourself from this situation because there was too many lies wrapped around in this situation, too much deception. And the situation was just, it was a lot of playing going on. It was, this person wasn't taking you serious or, or vice versa. And then on top of that, this person had some addictions. They were codependent upon you. And the situation seems like it was just unbalanced. It was unrequited. It wasn't any give and take or equal give and take, okay, in this situation. So I feel like somebody could be considering giving a relationship another chance, just like thinking about it. But definitely I'm feeling like there are some issues in the trust department here. So some of you... Someone could be coming back around telling you, trying to get you to let your guard down and telling you that it's safe for you to love. But you're over here like, look, this person has deceived me and they played with my feelings. I've already released this person. Yeah, for some of you, there is a marriage here. We got wedding here and pay attention to the red flag. So there was definitely something. Maybe some of you found out that this person could have been married and um, or for some of you, this is a marriage where there possibly there could have possibly been issues not everyone is going through infidelity um issues there could have been issues in finances i saw finances and career here as well okay so let's put these to the side and let's pull from the tarot and see what message we get Tell me more about this person that Pisces is dealing with. What's going on with this person that Pisces is dealing with for the month of August? What messages are there for my Pisces? All right, we got the Six of Wands. So Pisces, you could be very, very, um, 
you could be in the, lim the limelight. You get a lot of attention. A lot of people have their eyes on you. Some of you could be dealing with a cancer. You got the Ten of Swords and the Two of Cups. Yeah, definitely a connection ended here. I'm getting that a connection definitely ended. Yeah, we got the lovers and the moon, okay? So there were too many secrets here. Somebody could have possibly had a secret lover here. Maybe that was the end. That was the last straw, okay? That was the last straw. You let this person go or vice versa. They let you go. But I'm definitely seeing that a connection ended, okay? I'm getting, it was the last straw, okay? Someone here had, there was a, a, a offer, a stable offer here on the table. We got the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this is someone offering long-term stability. This is a marriage. This is a um, long, you know, relationship, long-term relationship. That was on the table, but a connection uh, ended, okay? Maybe you could have did some investigating or you um, went in hermit mode. And it could have been dealing with a king of pentacles. So this person could have been uh, financially stable or all they think about is their pentacle or you're dealing with the Virgo Taurus Capricorn. I feel like there were some red flags that you noticed, okay? And I feel like the connection ended. We got the seven of cups. All right, so somebody made a decision here. Maybe some of, some of you may have had a few different options to choose from. Maybe someone from your past, okay? The Eight of Swords here. Ooh, yeah, see, your intuition was telling you that this person was funny business anyway. They can't keep still, keep their, their private parts in their pants either way. But I feel like you waited you waited for the truth to come out, okay? I feel like you, your intuition was telling you something was a little off about this person. But you waited until you got some, some evidence. And I'm, I'm hearing, I'm not surprised. Two of swords in the tower. I ain't even surprised. I had already knew that. Or I already had a feeling of, that you were like that, okay? Why were you stuck? Let's watch the eight of swords here. Five of swords. There was some drama here. That you may have got caught in the middle of. And this was the ultimate. Somebody pushed somebody away. Like somebody literally like pushed somebody. Threw them to the wolves. Like really. I live right by the hospital guys. So if you hear ambulances and stuff. I live right by the hospital. Okay, so I'm getting that there was some drama here. Somebody made a decision to cut somebody off. Why is the Five of Swords here? Four of Wands, yep. We got the Queen of Wands here. Could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries um, person here. four of wands here there could have been a marriage here that was definitely on the rocks yep three of swords yep for some of you this is someone who's married or separated or headed for a divorce somebody here could be talk, having talks that they found someone new okay for some of you this is your person's energy why is the seven of cups here yeah okay Ooh, yeah. See, somebody was thinking about this for a while, okay? Somebody is thinking about this decision. Okay, so a decision has recently been made or is getting ready to be made. There's definitely some type of breakup and some drama that happened here in the, in the recent past, okay? But... You, this could be you or your person. Somebody has definitely been thinking about this decision. Two of Wands, yeah. Their next move. Ooh, 
somebody is not happy with their decision here. I'm feeling like this is your person's energy. Somebody is over here worried and going through the ringer, really. They might be putting on the front. Like I said, someone here could definitely be a married man here. Somebody's putting on the front like they're happy and they're not. Why is the Six of Wands here? Yep, Six of Swords. The devil. Some of y'all are dealing with the Capricorn. But I'm getting like leaving those toxic those toxic ways or thoughts behind. Okay? Like literally running away from that. Somebody got betrayed here. Yep. Somebody had to stop going back and forth. There's a bad decision here. Somebody could I, I'm getting this is your this is their energy. This is your person's energy. Why is the two of cups here? Six of cups, yep. They're having regrets. Some of you, it could be a Capricorn. Page of cups. This person may want to reach out to you. Page of wands. Ooh. But somebody had to stop going back and forth. The Empress. Somebody told them. That they had to stop going back and forth. So your person could have possibly been dealing with another party. A third party. Could have been a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Yep. Somebody had. Somebody <laughs> could have offered somebody some money to stop lying. Somebody could have offered somebody a gift to stop cheating. Like they're. I'm getting somebody's giving somebody gifts to possibly cut you off. To keep this person from going back and forth. From arguing. Could be a fire sign. Leo Sagittarius Aries. Somebody made somebody an offer that they couldn't refuse. Wow. They did this to keep you away. And force you. And now I feel like they're feeling like they made a bad choice. Cutting you off. I feel like this person could have cut you off. Possibly for a Leo. With the strength card here. Somebody wants to see you by yourself. Somebody doesn't want to see you with anybody else. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? The, yeah, look at this. The Fool and the Nine of Wands. This person feels like a fool. Ooh. And this person is definitely watching you. Page of Swords. Mm. Justice. They're looking to see if you're getting any karma. They're looking to see what you got to say. But they're over here really regretting it. Somebody could definitely be like a married man or somebody's older. This person over here was like, I've tried everything. I tried everything to get him or her to tell me the truth about what they've been doing, what's been going on. And I'm, this person's over here wishing that they would have waited to, to get this person to say what they said to you. Because I feel like this person paid your person to stop uh, coming towards you. Gave them gifts or something. The Knight of Swords in reverse. Look at this. None of my cards are in reverse. All of my cards are upright. The Knight of Swords came out reverse. This person is trying to keep them from coming back to you. Okay? We got the Five of Cups. Your person is over here regretting. Okay? Regretting it. They feel like they should have waited. And I feel like the slightest chance that you give them some type of sign. Yeah, see here you guys go. Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Strength card. It could definitely be dealing with the Leo. Somebody is wishing that they would have waited and talked, found out all the details first before making a decision because the decision was actually a bad decision. I feel like they forced your person's hand um, to keep your person away from you. 
But yeah, I feel like I'm getting kind of like backfired energy. Oh yeah, your person is moving slow. They actually they're taking their they're, they're moving slow. Uh, things are on hold until all details come out. Like I'm getting, for some of you, there's an Aquarius involved. Yeah, I'm getting like this person is thinking that they've made a bad choice. Five of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Somebody forced somebody's hand to hold on to them and made somebody walk away from you. And make this person stop. It's a lot. This is this is a lot of tea. Yep, your person's energy like let me. Their person wants to to take things slow. They're waiting to see what's coming ahead. The intuition is telling them that you've closed this chapter with them. Some type of truth was revealed, and something wasn't done right. Okay, something was was not done right. Okay, something was not done right. And I feel like you're getting ready to get some type of justice in the situation. They're sitting here watching you, spying on you. I feel like you're getting ready to get some type of justice in this situation. For sure. They're trying to keep you. They're, whoever they're dealing with is trying to keep them away from you. But the thing about it is, is, is if they're allowing them to do that, then... It's on them, you know? I want to see what your person wants to say. Now, let's find out who this person is. What is this person's intentions? What's going on with Pisces person for the month of August? Ooh, okay, we got some jumpers. Yep, I told you somebody's definitely married, okay? Now, with the lovers here, I definitely do feel like there could possibly be like a love triangle here, okay? Or somebody has an option between two people. Somebody most definitely look at this wealthy man and great fortune. Somebody's focus is on money, material, okay? So, somebody, somebody's focus is primarily on their finances, there's a privileged lady involved. What did I tell you? Okay. See, somebody gets a message of concern. Okay. They talk about it amongst the family. We got family room. Okay. There's a privileged lady here with a gift. Okay. So there is a lady here who is gifting your person, giving your person money, um, and is keeping your person away from you. Okay, yeah, they're definitely going into a courtship and your person feels stuck. Your person feels stuck. There could definitely be a mature woman involved, a mother, a grandmother, an aunt. Somebody could have got some type of settlement after someone passed away. And somebody was in a tight, look at this, poverty and despair. And toil and labor. Somebody could have lost their job and this person helped them. Okay. The main female, which I feel like is you. Um, we got the house and the judge here. Maybe you need to take this person to court or you're talking about taking this person to court. Or somebody has something to do with the law. Somebody here could have been at a distance with their children. And receive some type of unexpected income. And somebody is going on a trip, okay? Or trip or somebody's moving. Okay, now what I'm getting here is expectation. And it's in the reverse and change, okay? There was a change of plans. There was some type of change of plan, okay? We got message of concern, yep, okay? Message of concern and occupation and mature man here. Tell me more. Toil and labor and toil and labor and despair. Your person could be definitely going through the ringer with their finances. Okay. Your person could be very codependent upon a mother, a grandmother, an aunt. Um, but there's wealth and a mature woman here. And despair and toil and labor. Your person could be going through it financially. They may be dependent upon this other person. 
that they're dealing with. They're dependent upon them. Courthouse and concern. Now, this person, this, here's this false person, okay? This false person is a karmic. This false person that they're dealing with is a karmic. She is paying and, and doing the most to get your person's attention and keep your person's attention, okay? For those of you who are married to this person, there is a message of concern of being caught and being taken to court, um, uh, showing evidence of an affair. But this isn't what the... This, this, how things are going isn't what your person expected. Tell me more about expectation in reverse. I'm getting that there was just a change of plans. It's like all of a sudden, main female, okay, and privileged lady. I told you. Okay, so somebody got a message here that somebody was coming in, coming in to, uh, see each other okay so somebody could have went through somebody's phone and seen some type of message this privileged lady went through your person's phone and found out that somebody was at someone's house i'm getting you could be at a distance from this person that person said oh, no that's not gonna work That's not going to work. Tell me more about main female thoughts. Yep. And see, like I said, this keeps coming out of marriage. See, someone here could have possibly been married or they've been together for a long time. Somebody, there's an expectation here that somebody did not meet. Somebody's feeling like, oh, you thought that because you had a title... That you was doing something. Somebody's coming to somebody's house to meet up. Ooh, yeah, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot, lots and lots and lots and lots going on here. August is a month full for Pisces. This is some tea, okay? I'm going to get some advice for you guys. And we're going to see. But before we do that, let's do messages of love. Let's see what your person wants to say to you. What does Pisces person wants to say to Pisces? It was my fault, but I blamed you. I buried myself in work to forget you. I will wait for a sign from you. So your person is over there. See, look, this person is... They're wishing, they're afraid to contact you, for one. If you haven't been in contact with this person, they're afraid to contact you. And their person is saying, look, it's time for me to heal now. I wish that things could be different. We will be together again. My life is not as together as it seems, and I'm becoming a better person. It seems like your person is just going through some type of awakening. Um, and I see that it just feels like they're waiting on some type of call from you or reach out from you to give them the okay and as long as you don't do that then they're gonna stick and stay with what they got going on keep what they got going on pushing but they knew it was their fault and they sat there and they blamed it on you I'm like what type of bullshit is that <laughs> like what is that mm -mm. nah homie Nah, homie. All right, let's get some advice from the angels, honey, and I'm going to let y'all go. What message do you have for the Pisces, please?
We got no trust. Big happy changes. Spirit is saying, let that shit go. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. Ooh. One day, they gon' say, you crowd in my space. One day, he gon' say, you crowd in my space. Let it go. Uh -uh. You cannot trust this person. You got some changes and things that's coming in for you. Things that are going to be beneficial to you. Okay? You cannot trust this person. Trust came up in the beginning of the read. You cannot trust this person. Okay? Spirit straight up saying no with an exclamation point. Spirit like, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Perfect timing. Spirit say it ain't no need to worry. When the time is right, you will know. Okay? You gonna know when the time is right to reach out or to, you know, whatever. To get then we got yes, okay. Spirit is gonna let you know when the time is right. But spirit is saying, look, this shit right here is unlikely right now. You gotta get, you don't know all the details. You don't know all the details of this situation. You need to get all the details. And all those details are going to come out. Spirit is saying, uh-uh, baby, there is something way better for you. Spirit got something better for you. Okay? But most definitely, the ball is in your court. I feel like if there's something that you want to go with, Spirit is just like forewarning you. Like, okay, I'm letting you know now this person cannot be trusted. You cannot trust this person. Anything that this person tells you is going to be a lie. Anything that this person puts in your face is unlikely that it's going to manifest. Spirit is saying, no, there's, there's something better for you. All right, so I'm hoping that this reading was helpful. I'm happy to be back with y'all. Y'all make sure y'all comment in the comment section below as well, guys. Check out my website, www.empressempireoils.com. Support your girl, guys. Support your girl. And as well, guys, if you're interested in booking a personal reading, all that information is in the drop box below. All right. Until next time. Ciao.